Hi guys, I just wanted to show you a very quick way that you can uh, kind of get your homework assigned to your students um, in a really quick and easy way, especially if you're having trouble finding particular homework for your student. Um, so if I just go up to my no pay and um, I'm going to fill out the assessment draft. Um, so basically I save the draft uh, you know, earlier on and then I go in and get some homework for them. Um, basically some of my students, or most of my students to be honest, are quite low level. And sometimes we study very specific things that um, it would be hard for them to study something else on top of that. So basically what I end up doing is I just go to the review of our lesson that we worked on that day. And um, I try to remember, you know, a couple of things that I thought were a little bit difficult for them. Um, maybe he was having, uh, I remember Leo in class, uh, we were talking about I like. So, um, you know, we were working on that kind of structure there. Now, he had, he was fine with cake, juice, milk, and water, but he kept kind of forgetting the word bread. Um, so what I can do is I can pick out uh, something called snipping tool. Uh, so let me kind of drag it out. Uh, it's in almost every PC computer. Um, if you just go to the side here and type in snipping tool, it's a desktop app on PCs, which is really easy. Um, and I just basically uh, do a new snip. And I can just take this right here and I can just do bread if I like, or I can do the entire vocabulary set. Uh, what's easy about this is I know what the kids um, kind of need to work on. So I can just take that. I will just uh, save it. Um, the cool thing is if you want them to work on something in particular, you can kind of circle this one or you could highlight a couple of these, whatever. Um, I think I could just erase that again. That's fine. I just want them to review all of the vocabulary. So I'm going to save it as Leo reading or Leo review, something like that. I've got a ton of these in here uh, from all my different students. So I've got lots of different things. Um, so Leo review, save it, go down here, get rid of this. I'm going to amend my assessment draft. Uh, I think it's sitting somewhere in here. And then uh, once this assessment draft opens up, I'm just going to go to the very bottom and assign now. And I'm going to put uh, review your vocabulary. Okay, so I put review your vocabulary here. Uh, I put the attachment in. Uh, if it shows up right away, yep, there it is. And I give it a couple of seconds to upload. Um, and then basically what I do right here, um, I'll actually go ahead and just copy it from what, um, what I've done. Now, I know a lot of the students are really busy and the parents don't always have time to print out things or to show that they've done the homework. So what I do is I just say, when you've completed your homework with your parents, you can reply with OK to get your stars. Wonderful job today. Um, most of the parents are really responsive. I usually get a reply with an OK, which means that you too, you get a response from your homework. And it's not something too complicated for the student that they're able to do really quickly right before class or on a day off, say on a Saturday couple of days before their class. So then I hit uh, submit. Oh, I'm not finished with my uh, assessment yet, but then that's it. So that's a really good and easy way to um, basically get the 300 points from submitting the homework. So I hope that's helpful. And I hope to see you guys next time on catteacher.com.